Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of the Nick Diona Show on Amelia Island TV. We're in the Memorial Day weekend, and I wanted to talk just a little bit about Memorial Day and what it means and you know what it should mean to everybody and what it uh, you know how it all got started and this is the weekend this Memorial Day is the day that we recognize and mourn those who have given the ultimate given their life for the freedoms that we have and you know right here in Nassau County we've got over 50 uh, of our residents, of our citizens who have given their lives since World War I. Um, and you know, whenever these men and women went off to war, uh, they went willingly. They, they knew what they were going into and they did it because of their children, their grandchildren, their families. And they were willing to fight and willing to make that ultimate sacrifice to ensure that we would continue to live in a free nation. And we do live in a free nation. Now, we've got those today that may like this or may not like that. And I think that's, you're gonna always have that. But we need to think about how we got here and we need to think about the cost of freedom. And the cost of freedom, I know if you look right over to the memorial, uh, the Armed Forces Memorial that we have downtown here that you'll see a shot of, um, it has the names inscribed uh, of the uh, men and women who have lost their lives, who have given their lives to ensure our freedom. You know, we have here in Nassau County, we have one uh, Medal of Honor recipient, Nicholas Katina. Uh, Nicky was a, a friend of mine, um, and his mother was in the seafood business along with my family. And Nicky was quite a guy. Um, I tell you, if Nicky liked you, uh, he, would, he would go to, there was no length he wouldn't go to to help you. And Nicky lost his life in 1968 in Vietnam. He was a machine gunner and uh, his platoon came under small arms fire in uh, RPG, uh, rocket propelled grenade fire and machine gun fire. And the lieutenant got killed, uh, several of their guys got killed. Uh, it was a surprise attack. And Nicky seeing that the platoon was just disorganized uh, he immediately went to the front and exposed himself to the enemy, uh, firing his machine gun and killing uh, many of the enemy in doing so. So the rest of his comrades in the platoon, it provided cover for them so they could start making an exit and get away. Well, Nicky got shot and went down. Uh, lying on the street, he continued to fire and his machine gun got hit. He grabbed, he crawled over and grabbed another machine gun and kept on firing until he was mortally wounded. Uh, but he saved the rest of the platoon. They had a, a, a means to get away. And this was the kind of bravery, this was the kind of uh, the men and women that, you know, gave all for us to have all, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, Mike Rice was another one that I went to school with here. Uh, great guy. Um, so many, you know, that have given their lives. Uh, my wife's cousin, John Blocker, was killed in Beirut uh, when the, um, they blew up the uh, barracks in, Bla in Beirut, I think in 83. But uh, there's no family in, that I can think of, or, and I'm sure uh, from you know, this country that hasn't been touched by a member of their family either losing their lives, giving it, giving all, or wounded in the line of duty. So this weekend, when we get ready to put the hamburgers and the hot dogs on the grill, let's stop and think. Uh, what it's really all about. It's not about hamburgers, it's not about hot dogs, it's not about 
uh, parades. It's about just stop and, and remember those who went into battle knowing that they may not come out and those that didn't come out. And they did that so we would have the freedom to do the hot dogs and the hamburgers and to live freely with our families. So let's keep that in mind as we go forward. Uh, so folks, uh, having said that, be safe, take care of one another, and uh, until next time, God bless.